Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be decorating for fall and I'm gonna break down my styling process step by step for you all so you can kind of get some fun decorating ideas and I'll give you some styling tips along the way. And my overall approach when it comes to seasonal decorating is just to make my space an extension of outside. So I like to keep things really earthy and natural to help give my space that elevated designer feel. So I'll show you all how I achieve that and yeah, it should be a really fun video. So without further ado, let's get into the decorating. Okay, so we're gonna start with the living room area and I'm gonna decorate the mantle first because that's the focal point of our living space. And as you can see, we kind of have an awkward narrow space to work with because of the large TV that my husband insisted that we get, but it's cool, we'll make it work. So if you remember last year in my fall DIY video, I showed you all how I made these burgundy stems by simply painting some cheaper green stems with acrylic paint. So I thought these would be perfect to reuse this year in place of a garland just to help give the mantle an earthy feel. So I. I just used three stems total and then I placed them with their ends facing the wall and roughly shaped them to kind of drape over the edge just to give off that natural cascading look and you can totally do this with other stems that you might already have laying around the house as well. And then I wanted to layer some pumpkins on top and Home Goods had a great faux pumpkin selection this year. And I like to stick to natural and neutral colors and textures when sourcing my pumpkins. So I picked out this textured cream one and layered in some faux heirloom pumpkins on both sides of it. And honestly, this would have been super cute as is, but I feel like fall is just all about the cozy layers. So I wanted to layer in one more accent piece. And if you watched my previous fall decor videos, I showed you all how I sourced these sweet ceramic acorns and then styled them as a bowl filler but I thought they'd also be really cute in this mantle scape so I just popped them in between the pumpkins making sure to switch the direction that they were laying every other one to make it feel a little bit more natural so I'm super happy with how this came out very easy and I love the calm earthy look of it and now that the top is done I want to style the bottom hearth area so I started with this tall woven basket and on Pinterest I really loved the look of these styled baskets baskets with all of the dried florals and the pumpkins and the textiles so I thought it'd be fun to create one of my own and I just started with some styrofoam to kind of artificially fill the bottom and if you remember from my fall decorate with me two years ago I created a dried floral arrangement in this smaller vase and I've just kept the arrangement so I'm gonna reuse it here and I just nestled it into the basket and then popped a pumpkin in right next to it and because I used the styrofoam filler I don't have to waste a throw blanket stuffed into a decorative basket all season it's the perfect amount of space in here for a little hand towel or a napkin so I'm just gonna use this pretty waffle hand towel to help add some subtle texture and I just draped a little corner over the side giving off the illusion that this is a throw blanket but it's actually just a little dish towel and I love how this basket came out it was so easy to do and all of the layers just make it look really professionally styled and gives off a super cozy feel so I wanted to add a little something to balance out the other side of the hearth area so I brought in my rustic stool for some warmth and I wanted to pop a floral arrangement on top of it but I didn't want that to compete with the burgundy stems on the mantle since I wanted those to be the focal point of the room so I went for this neutral faux floral that I found at Hobby Lobby and I love that they look like they were real dried florals so I just put them in this rustic black vase for a little punch of contrast and I love how natural they look and how the neutral tone of them isn't distracting but it just helps to add in those earthy layers to my space. And then lastly, I added in these woven pumpkin baskets that I found at Home Goods, And I love that they add in that element of repetition, which is really pleasing to the eye. And they also help to bring in that natural warmth with the woven texture. So speaking of warmth, now I need to add some to this super bright white reading corner that I have. So one of my favorite ways to do that is through my throw blankets. I love using throw blankets with warm earthy hues and some sort of woven texture. I found this one at Target last year and I also really like to use brown in my fall decorating just because it helps to warm up a space but since it's neutral you could still reuse it in the other seasons as well and we were in need of a little punch of pattern and I'm just loving subtle neutral floral prints right now so I used this floral pillow that I found last year at Kirkland's and I just love how this creates the perfect blend of texture and pattern but like I said fall is all about the layers for me so a couple of years ago I found this cute little butternut squash vintage inspired pillow at an antique store with my mother-in-law 
all. So I liked that that was just a fun memory and I wanted to incorporate that as well. So I just popped that in front and I love the layered vintage look that this gives to the reading corner. So perfect for cozying up with a good book this season. So I do try to use pieces that look and feel vintage just to help add that warmth to a space. So next it was time to style our console table and I really needed something that added a lot of height to take up some of this large blank wall. So I used this giant floor vase that I love so much. I got this from McGee & Co and I'll link it below, but I've used this as a floor vase for a tree and it's just really versatile. So I love the earthy brown tone of it and the organic shape that it has. And to put in the vase, I showed you all these stunning burgundy stems in my fall decor must haves video. And these will be so perfect for tying in that deep burgundy accent throughout my space. And they're also super tall, so they'll help me achieve that height that I need. And when styling new stems, I always make sure to give them a couple of bends because that way they'll just appear a lot more realistic and lifelike. I love that these look like I just went into the backyard and cut some limbs off of a tree. They're super tall, making them the main focal point of this wall and console moment, which I love. And then to layer in that cozy vintage flare, I just added these two brass candlesticks that I thrifted. And I love the warmth that brass can add to styling, especially during the fall season. Next, I just popped this woven pumpkin up there. I found this at Home Goods last year, and I love spreading those woven accents throughout my decorating. And I like how this one has a spot for a battery operated candle to give off a cozy glow at night. And we also needed some contrast on this wall. So I liked the black curve lines on this mirror. And I also love how it reflects the fireplace and other fall decor back onto this wall, kind of acting like an illusion of ambiance. I also layered in this autumn field artwork. This was actually from a picture that I took and then I used an app to make it look like a painting and I have a little mini tutorial on this in my first fall decorate with me and I'll link that below but I love the earthy rust colors in this piece and I also love propping my mirrors and artwork against the wall because it just allows me to easily change things up whenever I want to and next a very important part of decorating for autumn is layering in those cozy scented pieces so this potpourri smelled so good it has lots of spicy cinnamon in clovey smells and I also like that everything in it is from nature so it gives off that casual organic feel and then I just popped this orange candle in there that I found at Hobby Lobby to tie everything together it helps to bring out those rusty orange tones from the painting and then tie them into the dried orange slices in the potpourri so that completes the console table styling I'm really happy with how it all turned out and how all of the earthy fall colors coordinate with each other and this half of the room is looking so super cozy so now it is time to decorate our other cozy reading corner on this section of sofa right next to the windows so i like to sprinkle black accents around my space for contrast so i used this black tray from tj maxx and again i layered in that earthy brown color with this rustic pot from mcgee and co and for being a designer piece it's actually pretty affordable so i'll link it below but again to tie in that burgundy accent i used these stems from hobby lobby and these are some of my all-time favorite favorite stems and they're super affordable and I also just put some practical pieces on here because I like to style in groups of three and it's always nice to have some coasters and a candle nearby I like this because it's compact and it doesn't take up a ton of space on our coffee table but it just helps to soften it a bit and next it's time to layer in the textiles and I love using cable knit blankets because again texture is so important when it comes to fall decorating so I like that the cable knit has that cozy chunky texture texture and it just adds a subtle layer of visual interest and when styling pillows I typically stick to the same formula I first start out with a neutral for my base pillow in the back and then I'll go in with a color or in this case kind of like a tannish orange linen pillow from Ikea and then I'll put the pattern pillow out front so it could kind of be the star of the show and using this method I really only swap out the front pillow when the seasons change so it's pretty practical and this is another similar pairing in the corner of our sectional I just love using those warm brown tones contrasted against our navy sofa I think that's so pretty so now that the textiles are all in there I wanted to style our little side table and we do already have a floor lamp in this corner but in my design tip videos I talk about how layering lighting together can help give your space a more cozy elevated feel so I brought in one of my all-time favorite lamps and again this just helps to weave in that earthy brown color I love the handle detail on here and it just helps to give a more old world vintagey feel. 
And another thing that you all know I love to do is style in groups of three. So next to the lamp, I use this dried floral accent and I love the rustic look of it. And dried florals are really practical because they have that realistic elevated feel to them, but they're maintenance free. And then I just use this cute little glass acorn candle to round it out. And I love that earthy fall feeling of this second little reading corner. And another thing that I thought would make this reading corner even cozier is to update the patio area just a little bit because it's sort of an extension of the living room when you're in the space since it's right next to the window. So when searching for fall inspiration on Pinterest, I'm always so enamored with those stunning layered porches with the buckets of seasonal mums and layers upon layers of heirloom pumpkins, but it's a little out of my budget and time constraints. So I figured I'd try to channel that inspiration on a much smaller scale in this area. First, I needed to clear some room, so I just took out this rosemary plant and relocated it to another container garden in my yard where it will get more sunlight anyway, which is probably what it needs. So when I was at Aldi the other day, I actually spotted these mums for only $4 each, and I just love the rust-colored ones. So I picked one up and replanted it in this pot that I wasn't using. And this is actually my first time ever planting mums for fall. Last year, I used some fake ones, but I figured this year I'd give the real thing a try and let me know in the comments if any of you plant mums on your porch for fall and if you have any tips. I've heard that they can be short-lived so I made sure to use some of my favorite fertilizer to hopefully get more blooms out of their life cycle. I've also heard that they need lots of water so to make sure that they're hydrated and to pick off any spent blooms when they die so that the plant can put more of its energy into making new ones. And I've also heard that you're supposed to buy them before the blooms open up for a longer lifespan, but that wouldn't have been as satisfying for you all. So I just layered two faux pumpkins next to my mini garden and I love how this looks. It just is so simple to do and it's really subtle, but now when I look out the window in our living room, our patio has a little touch of autumn as well. And I love how the living area turned out with the combination of textures, vintage pieces, wovens, fall florals, and the earthy color palette that gives the space a warm and cozy feel. And one more piece that I wanted to add was this faux fall tree that I DIY'd last year and I was able to keep it in our upstairs storage room so I brought it back this year. I kept up with the black accents and used this charcoal vintage pot that I found at a local antique shop and just popped the tree inside. I love the almost sculptural feel of this piece and how it feels like it's just naturally bending over our sofa and this is one of my favorite pieces that makes such a difference in this space and just really helps to go with the theme of bringing bringing the outdoors in and giving that organic earthy feel to my space. Next, it was time to decorate the dining area and I really wanted to keep it simple this year with a more minimal look, but still dressing it up a bit and adding some festive touches. So I bought this burgundy garland a while back and I mentioned it in a previous haul video because it does sell out super quickly, but this is the exact color and casual earthy look that I was going for. And last year I put together this glass lantern with some candles and dried orange slices and I decided to reuse it as a centerpiece this year and I like this because it's shorter and it's glass so people can see through to each other on opposite sides of the table but it just helps to give the tablescape a decorative center point. I also really like the contrast of the orange and plum tones together and to play up the orange tones a little more I found these kind of orangey candlesticks at TJ Maxx and then I got the candle holders at Hobby Lobby and I just arranged them in alternating heights three on either side Side, and the variation in height just kind of helps to add a little punch of some extra visual interest. And I seriously love how this came out. It's earthy and natural, but also festive and somewhat colorful. I feel like this tablescape is Haunted Mansion meets Interior Designer meets Halloween. I don't know. It's just the perfect balance of color, nature, and theming. And now that that's done, I just wanted to take care of this awkward empty corner. So I found this really cute footed pedestal table on Amazon. I 
loved the lines of it and just how it gives off that old world vintagey feel. The black also ties into the rest of the space and gives some dark contrast to this bright corner. And then to tie in that rustic brown, I added this wooden vase, but I wanted it to feel like it was almost an extension of the tablescape. So I just popped another DIY plum stem in here so it matched the table garland. And this looked so cute as is, but you know me in those fall layers. So I wanted to add some scent over here. So I just used this ceramic pumpkin and then a mini cinnamon broom as an accent. I love using these scented cinnamon brooms to disperse scent throughout my home during autumn. Just obviously don't light a candle next to one, but I love how this area turned out. Super cozy, very festive, while still giving off that earthy elevated designer feel. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed this fall decorate with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to support the channel and be sure you're subscribed because there will be a part two actually to my fall decorating this year. And if you're interested and you haven't seen my previous videos from the other years, I do have an entire fall decorating playlist. So you can check that out. I will link it in the description as well. And I hope you all are having a fabulous fall season so far. And I wanna thank each and every one of you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!